Hello everybody, how's it going? A full-size bottle of my secret sauce finally came in. So I'm finally gonna spray it. Well, you know what, let's kinda... Oh, there it is, okay. Oh, that feels so much better. Okay, we're gonna go five. Because you know what? This sample one that I have, this is a pretty strong fragrance. I don't even think I said the name of it. It's salt and pepper, but this is the sample that I had of it. I had a second sample too that I went through, but this one is already halfway, so I need to save the rest of this for my travels because it's in my little travel container right here. But I'm very happy because even coming from this small little sample vial, it was still pushing past eight hours on my skin, which I love. But now that I got the full size, we'll see how long the longevity is. Now to me, this doesn't really smell like a salty fragrance. I definitely get pepper though, hands down. Like the pepper in this fragrance, occasionally while I'm wearing it, I'm like, oh damn, there's that kick. You know what I mean? You definitely smell it in the opening. And as I've said in previous videos, this does open more masculine. And then as it starts to dry down, it does go a bit more unisex, but it still kind of stays in that masculine territory. Now it's marketed as a unisex fragrance, so ladies, if you want to try it, don't be afraid. And I do believe that there's some Embroxin and Ambroxin, come on, Embroxin in this fragrance to help it really push so it's not really a surprise that this lasts pretty long. Now, for the people that are wondering, wait, Pepper, Embroxin, do you think it smells like Dior Sauvage? Because that is something that a lot of people have asked me. And honestly, I can see where you would think that the similarity, like where you would draw that similarity because it has the mass appeal, but this fragrance ever since I've worn it has never been confused with Dior Sauvage. Even for myself when I'm wearing it, I can see how it can have a similar vibe, but I'm not like, oh, this is basically Dior Sauvage. You know what I mean? And another way where I don't find them to be as similar as people make them out to be is that every woman that has smelled this on me is very familiar. What is wrong with my voice? Very familiar with the smell of your Sauvage. Like they know five, six guys in their real lives that wear it. So when I was wearing this fragrance, if they thought it smelled like Sauvage, they definitely would have told me because the association would be strong enough. But in fact, that was never the case. They were always like, oh my God, you smell really, really good. What is that? I've been asked about this fragrance when I was in Costco. I've been asked about it when I was hanging out with girls in general. So this does get a lot of love for the ladies. And even for myself, I am a lady. So like, oh shit, it just smells really good. But yeah, very happy to have this in my collection now. I think I'll put it, I do need to organize my bottles, geez. Cause usually when I'm talking and stuff, like I'll just randomly put it down, but I'll put it next to Carlisle and Layton. I love this shelf. Like this is my favorite niche shelf. I still gotta fix that. I gotta put like Elysium here. Cause I was trying to do things by like house order, but now everything's jumbled up and this is my favorite like designer shelf. But anyways, I'll put a link in the description in case you're interested, but I hope you have a great day. Let me know what your scent of the day is and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.